next emerging technology that companies in India need to be working on or are working on for the next decade? I think uh, I also have an example. A few years back, even in Dallas, I'm based out of Dallas, Texas. If I order something, even through Prime, it will take a day or two. Now, most of the things I can get the same day or overnight in the morning. When I was leaving for India in December, I realized I was out of uh, uh, razor blades. So it was 10 o'clock in the night. I placed the order. I had to leave at nine in the morning. My delivery was there at six in the morning. So I didn't have to go out anywhere in the night. Uh, so definitely we take a lot of pride in customer obsession and improving and raising the bar for delivery experience. But coming to your question, and I think uh, you are a subject matter expert to a lot. Uh, I have read a few articles of yours. We have been connected on LinkedIn. So very good, very impressive. I've enjoyed those. Thanks. Uh, plus one to what uh, Sadanand and Arjun mentioned, definitely healthcare, hardware, uh, big deal. Uh, we should invest in those and continue to grow. I believe the third aspect I would like to just add to this, rather than repeating what is said, is uh, blockchain. Uh, blockchain is, I believe, truly Web 3.0, and companies, countries are struggling to figure out the right way of implementation, right? It's a technology. Every time we think of blockchain, people mostly go to crypto. Crypto is one application, but it is very, very powerful. And while the world is coming up to terms with this, and it's an open area, there is a lot of opportunity to innovate in that space. India has an opportunity with such a large talent pool to take a leadership position in this and drive worldwide applications. While companies in India have not been highly product driven, uh, to Arjun's point, relational database, we, uh, they already had it, but they missed out the boat. I think Web 3.0 or blockchain offers that opportunity to Indian companies right now and take that leadership position. And second part to this, I think we only think about technology, but Technology is just an enabler. What you are doing with it is the key. I strongly believe in that. It's it's just a means. It could be done in different ways, right? Uh, you could order through an app or you could uh, call and get the groceries delivered. It's just a means to an end at the end of the day for a business objective or an experience creation. To that effect, I think uh, through whatever limited exposures, I try to visit India once or twice a year at least. I've seen that the use of technology for the right purpose. I can give a small example. I wanted to deposit a check into one of my LLC accounts, a side venture. I went to the bank after a long time. They had shut down the account over here because I wasn't using it. I said, hey, I, I have this check I need to deposit today. I'm leaving. And I said, okay, no problem. We have all the documents. I said, I don't have the EIN number or anything with me. But that's fine. You had an account. They pulled up everything from the history created the account in 10 minutes and deposited the check. Same experience when I look at dealing with the Indian banks, the employees are not empowered, forget about the customers. Mm -hmm. The amount of struggle they go through to create, open an account, same example, a brand new account to be opened, it took eight months for me to open an account with a bank in India, mm -hmm. one month to update a phone number. Mm -hmm. So if, I, if you look at all this, right, it's the attitude to use the technology for the right purposes, and to serve the customers in the best possible way and empowering the employees and the customers. I think if that attitude comes in, then technology is there, knowledge is there, but the implementation or the attitude is missing out uh, from the company standpoint. And I think government is doing a great job, a lot of initiatives on the digital India. So in all aspects of life, wherever the technology touches the human and empowers that experience, I think that attitude has to be brought about. That should be a fundamental change and that would really transform the way uh, the world looks at India. Great, thanks a lot for that, uh, Nikunji. You spoke about blockchain and about you know using technology for actually transforming experiences. And while uh, we're on the topic of banking, wanted to get Urvish's point of view on what are the emerging technologies. If you can talk about it from the financial space, I think that'll be uh, super useful. Yeah, sure, no good. Um, yeah, I mean, so uh, from my, you know, some certain amount of experience at phone pay, the way I look at it is uh, uh, essentially government, uh, it is a lot uh, government driven, obviously. Uh, and um, as you know, some folks, the word is becoming popular, Ambani uncle. So even the co-founders of phone pay <clears throat> really acknowledge that, you know, the geo movement happened as they call it. 
so the government push and the uh, support for you know enabling a good speed of data over mobile devices and as it was rightly pointed out that you know we skipped a leg we went from landlines to everyone having mobiles so these things came along um, and on top of these is where the whole uh, you know money movement now is being uh, you know being pushed towards uh, so uh, you know first it was basically to ease the uh, ease and make the movement of money digital um, so that was through upi uh, which was a big success uh, and slowly now the government is uh, you know now that the foundation of movement of money the whole tech stack the product vision of the government actually it's not just a product vision of a company it's a whole product vision of a country as such which is being driven by the government um, you know is in place they are now building the verticals on top of it uh, so you have your you know government is uh, exploring like you know why do you someone need to go to a store or go to some physical counter to pay their bills you know when you can do it online uh, so the bharat bill payment bbps came along um, it was very uh, well received uh, at least when we see from a fintech uh, like phone pay player or paytm or other such players a um, lot of people and the covid push really put things on steroid basically uh, covid was an unfortunate history uh, for humanity but uh, it gave you know those who saw the opportunity uh, you know jumped on it so you know all the systems were laid out you know you can do things at your ease of home so now people are buying insurance on this you know using upi you know people are buying gold using upi people are buy, paying their bills using upi uh, so now this now that this business verticals or use cases as i prefer to call them are being you know put on top of this foundation there uh, it's generating data right <laughs> and that's where the uh, the insights are now going to start pop up right so the uh, and the government has again been like very proactive uh, so and government is also doing steps like you know enabling interoperability so you know the it's trying to break monopolies in players as it's sort of building out this foundational technology so you know enforcing 30% limit that no player can have more than 30% share in upi mm-hmm. transactions uh, you know no, no your upi handles just like your phone numbers have to be interoperable so if i have created a upi handle on phone pay i can use it on some other platform easily right in fact they are saying forget upi handles you know even your phone number can be a upi handle so um, you know they are continuously evolving even their foundational platform uh, making sure there are no monopolies and things like that uh, it's they are they are taking upi international there are already plans to uh, it, so government our sbi has tied up with the nepal bank so now you can if you're going to nepal you can pay using upi uh, you know behind the scenes sbi will do the money conversion and everything indian rupees to you know nepali uh, sorry bhutan i think uh, and then they transfer the money there singapore uh, plans to expand upi to singapore uh, in next one or two years so upi is going international um, and there is already uh, there's already a plan in place to support nris first on this kind of platform um, so uh, and now that the data is coming up they're already uh systemic systemic like um, you know license level support like account aggregator license i don't know if people have heard about that yep. so that allows a company to aggregate financial data produce insights and provide it as service to other companies right so you know micro lending again micro lending benefits a lot from this you know someone like a micro lender or a neo banking solution can easily ask account aggregator hey you know how does obish profile look like uh, when it comes to payments and bill payments and what is his risk score or credit score or across you know in which different areas is he spending his money should i give him a loan on let's say buying a tv or not uh, right to you know giving him a loan to buy a home or giving him a loan to buy a car you know at different levels so now that this data is getting so now there is going to be a now we are going to a phase where all this data is going to get started up start getting organized um there might be things like you know like a, in us there is a already a predefined data format for a human health care record i wouldn't be surprised that there would be a unified format for a financial record for a indian you know other based human being or something uh and so we are making great strides there uh, i think uh, and this is uh, and the interesting part is now it is not just this individual players right the banks are getting involved um the uh, you know all the big uh, you know amc kind of companies are getting hooked into this because they are seeing that there is lot of money movement lot of data insights 
whom can I target, right? So even AMC, mutual fund companies, they are getting hooked into this. Mm -hmm. So this platform is getting very pervasive, very huge. Um, and uh, just the sheer amount of visibility that it is generating, uh, it also gives government a lot of ways to regulate uh, and you know, also you know, make sure that the tax base goes up. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, you know, there are so many people uh, who are opting for this platform. There are also small pockets of people, like very small shops who are saying, you know what, please give us a little bit of cash, please, <laughs> because they will not get that on the record. Uh, but by and large, like uh, wherever I have been, 80 to 90 percent people are open to this digital platform, right from like your small, you know, laris to all the way. When I went to get my buy my bike, they they had a, you know, they were like, oh, let, you know, you, the card is going to attract a 2.5 percent surcharge for you. You know, check will take two days to clear. Uh, you know, the UPI limit is one lakh. If you have two UPI accounts, you can just buy your two lakh bike using the UPI, right? <laughs> and I ended up paying half of my bike's money with a UPI, right? I was very surprised that I would be buying a bike using UPI. So uh, <clears throat> it is it is becoming very, uh, very, very organized and a lot of value driven. Uh, obviously, for the end consumer, uh, this will unlock a lot of uh, credit cycle for India also. Uh, uh, so right from all these small banking to big banking solutions will really leverage all this data and insights. Uh, so the flow of money, like as um, I think uh, Arjun was pointing out, right? Uh, getting a loan was a tough job. Uh, now getting a loan is an easy job, uh, but maybe just for a home loan, car loan, maybe a, uh, maybe a student loan is still tough. But now even getting a small loan, like uh, 2,000 rupees, 5,000 rupees is going to be, become very easy. And it's not just going to become easy, it's going to become real time. Within the next three to four years, it's going to become real time. Um, so uh, that's that's where the the foundation is going to help all sorts of banks. Um, and it, I think it's not just going to be a small Paytm, phone pay, uh, you know, kind of a market. It's 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 going to be very uh, very comprehensive.